What's up, Cowboys Nation and YouTubers? Is that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you? Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you, and they're a little therapeutic. Woo! Game day, game day, game day. We are on game day, preseason week two against the Seattle Seahawks. It's going to be a late game for us in the East Coast, but it'll be one that I will freaking take a nap and get back up for. <laughs> But before we start talking about our team and what I look forward to, I wanted to get a little laundry list of stuff out of the way real quick. Uh, if you didn't know, now you know. Former Cowboy Robert Quinn has been arrested in Georgia, I do believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, on seven, he's been charged with seven violations. I know he like hit his neighbor, ran over some things. <laughs> Uh, hit light poles and everything, and uh, it is basically a real bad look for him right now. Uh, he was a free agent uh, out of what Philly, I think, was his last team. Uh, he did pretty well for them. Unfortunately, this might be it for his career if he's convicted, because the NFL does not take kindly to some of the things he's being charged with. And suspensions will occur if he decides to not hang it up. Uh, next on my list, Jason Peters decided to forego retirement and has now put his name into the free agency pool. So, Cowboys, if you're listening, uh, he does, he, he, he kind of wants to come back. Uh, he wants to help out at almost 42 years of age. He was not the anchor that we needed long term but he's an anchor that you can have short term uh, tackle or guard and he played the best we could hope for at his age and you know I wasn't mad for it he came in cheap, he did his job he was professional and he came away a happy person that he actually wants to continue playing so I'm not mad at that uh, next up Former Cowboy James Washington has found a new home with the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, as you know, he came in last year looking to be that number two while Michael Gallup was rehabbing his injury. Uh, fortunately, he got hurt. Didn't come in until near the end of the season, and by then he was supplanted by basically every wide receiver on the roster. The guy never had a shot. I think he only logged 15 snaps in two games, and saw nothing in the playoffs so go figure he's not probably going to do much for the Colts but he might have a better chance of latching on there than most teams around the league <coughs> excuse me and surprisingly he is going to be replacing also former Cowboy Malik Turner who happened to play for us in 2020 and 2021 go figure Cowboy for Cowboy going to the Colts uh, but anyway that's our little cleaning here on Saturday morning. Uh, game time. I'm looking for a little more cohesion on the offensive line. Uh, a little more juice now that Zach Martin's back. And he's uh, basically just pumped up everybody on the offense this past week. Um, I want to see more from the running backs. Please, God be more from the running backs other than Deuce. I know Deuce is making the team, but right now, I don't know if Dowdle or Davis have a shot at staying on this roster. Jones, he's pretty much an afterthought to me. Um, what's the other guy? Uh, Lipke? Lipke? He's... Some of these guys, I don't even remember we had as undrafted free agents, but they're there. Tight ends all look good. Uh hear a lot from uh, Stevens now tight end wise McEwen he's been on the team for quite a few years now he's still doing his thing and love to keep him on the practice squad if anything um, quarterback play 
I'm not too, you know, concerned about because it's going to be the same thing no matter what we see. Uh, if anything, they might flip-flop Greer and Rush. And with the new emergency quarterback rule, Greer might get to suit up on game days anyway. We'll have to see how that plays out during the season uh, with that rule. Uh, while receivers, of course, I want to see more from uh, Turpin. If Turpin can get on the field other than kick and punt return and hopefully not fumbling. Uh, I want to see more from Brooks and of course I want to see Tolbert. Those guys are looking like locks. You never know. Because um, we got just starting to see a lot more talent than in wide receivers that we would had in years past. And that's saying a lot because we have been you know, court of, uh, wide receiver by committee looking like fools a couple of times, and now it looks like the running back situation will be running back by committee, and hopefully that won't blow up in our face like the wide receiver by committee does. Defense, I want to see more from Izzy, Scott, um, what's the name, uh, Thomas, uh, I want to see all the boys just stick with their jobs. Uh, stay, if they're playing the starters against us, I want to see them hold up well. I, I want to see them do what they did against Jacksonville if it wasn't for the turnovers and the short field and the less rest. I want to see them play a complete game. And, uh, you know, and no injuries. That's a major thing. I don't want to see any more guys get injured. It's not worth it, <laughs> you know. But um, linebackers, I want to see Overshawn, Cox. Uh, I want to see what these guys are bringing. Clark, uh, if they can bring it two games in a row, you know. I want to see the determination. I want to see their uh, speed because I know they've been injured. Uh, uh, a lot of guys, Clark and uh, Cox. I want to see if they're still acclimated to the game speed or if they've basically got a handle on it and now – they can just flow more to where they need to be more than overthinking it, you know? Uh, I'm, uh, defensive line, of course, I want to see Mozzie. I want to see what he does again next to uh, uh, I forgot his name right off there. Um, the other D-tackle. Um, I want to see him with O.C., uh, Gallimore, because a lot of people kind of uh, crapped on him last game, but if you watch the film, he took on quite a few double teams and triple teams and when he was one-on-one -on -one, he kind of threw people around if you're being honest but we'll have to see, you know, what kind of impact he's going to make this game i like to see him in the game because he's getting more reps, more speed up in his get-up as he is going along in his first year I know he's getting uh, some help from Michael Parsons so as hungry as he is, I'm glad he's working with him. And speaking of Micah, one day the guy gets kicked and has to miss the end of his reps for that day. Next day, he's out here swinging at Biotish. <laughs> you know, like, it's nothing. But I'm happy. Training camp in Oxnard is over. They're going to be coming home to the star to finish out the rest of preseason. And it's finally going to be nice to hit other guys, you know, because they're starting to get chippy out there on their own. You know how that goes, but every team has at least one fight per training camp. It's almost a, uh, a thing. But uh, that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Some of the position groups I want to look at, running back, offensive line, defensive line, linebackers, um, corner safety. Uh, wide receivers look pretty good, and if they can get the ball out, the quarterbacks are looking okay. Rush looks like he needs a little more rush to get rid of the ball. Uh, Will Greer looks like he's handling things a little better in his, uh, his reps. Uh, he's taking command of this offense. He'll run when he needs to. He'll get rid of the ball if he's got time. There's a couple sacks that he'll take, but he looks like he's grasping it uh, uh, pretty well. As a uh, offense as a whole, 
this uh, Texas Coast offense uh, is looking pretty good, and it looks like everybody's getting a handle on it. We're not going to know how the first team has a handle on it until we play the Giants on Sunday Night Football in September. But until then, I like seeing these battles for the backups. Uh, if anything, you don't want a lot of these guys to get cut because there's a lot of guys that looking pretty good this year. Uh, we've drafted well over the years, and we've got some pretty good undrafted free agents, and uh, it looks to be coming together, and I like that. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Hope you guys have a good, fun, safe Saturday. Enjoy watching the game. Uh, we'll get back to you after, and uh, we'll discuss things then. Until then, this is VA Dallas Cowboy fan.